Hello everyone and welcome to the ISPACAP Motor Driver 250 tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to position control a motor by using the ISPACAP system. The Motor Driver 250 is a powerful ethercap based brushed and brushless DC motor driver for high speed control of robotics applications. It is capable of up to 250 watts continuous and 750 watts peak and integrating quadrature encoders and hall sensor inputs, along with seven digital I.O. pins and two analog inputs for integration of any other sensors that are used in the motor system. The EtherCAT protocol and power over EtherCAT technology allows high-speed communication and flexible connectivity by supporting daisy chain wiring. Any motors can be easily set up and auto-tuned by the Maxon ISCON Studio. ISMACAT is the ideal motor control solution for both novice and expert robotics engineers due to its easy programmable master software and hardware setup. Here, we would like to demonstrate motor position control with the ISMACAT Motor Driver 250. Now, let's get it started. In order to control the motor, we need several ISMACAT components. First, we need one ISMACAT master device. In this tutorial, we will use the dedicated ISMACAT Server S as our master, but any Windows or Linux machine can be used as the ISMACAT master by downloading the ISMACAT Server software from ismacat.com. Second, we have to prepare one ISMACAT slave set. This consists of the motor driver 250 and an external power supply. We will connect these to the motor to demonstrate direct motor control. In this tutorial, we are going to use a brushless DC motor. The ISMACAT master and slave set will be connected to each other and communicate via the ISMACAT POE or power over EtherCAT. This enables our master to provide both communication and logic power to the slave over a single Ethernet or RJ45 cable. Here is the motor driver hardware setup. On the left, we see that the motor driver is connected to the encoder, hall sensor, and motor armature cables from the motor. The motor power is supplied by an external power supply. We do not use analog inputs in this tutorial. On the right, we have the PoE system that was discussed earlier. When we connect all the components as shown, our hardware setup is complete. Before operation, we should set designated motor parameters via the Maxon ISCON Studio. All required parameters are available on the motor datasheet provided by the motor manufacturer. For details on how to set up the Maxon ISCON, please see the Guidance of ISCON Studio Setup document on our website, ismacat.com. Now, let us write our code together. We can start with the template that is included in ISMACAT Server Software Development Kit, or the SDK. Let's open the header file. We need to create one object for the ISMACAT slave to represent the type of slave that we wish to physically use. Under private, we create a pointer to an ISMACAT motor driver object. Next, let us look at the source file. In the connect function, our declared object needs to be connected with the actual ISMACAT slave. The function named as assign ISMACAT slave index is for this connection. Because the motor driver board is the first, and in this case the only, slave connected to the ISMACAT master, let's assign our object ECATMD the index of 0. Let's move on to the setup function, and for initialization of the encoder, let's call the encoder clear function to set the encoder value as 0. In position control, we need to set controller gains. Basically, ISMACAT position controller enable to set PID gains by using set position control PID gain function. The order of input variables are P gain, D gain, and I gain. PID gain tuning is necessary for stable operation. In this tutorial, we will set 0.3 as our P gain, 0.01 as D, and 0 as the I gain. ISMACAT can apply a velocity profile for position control to avoid drastic signal changes for desired position by set max velocity function. The variables in here 
means slope of profile. We will set this value as 2000. In the loop function, we will implement repeated motor movement by providing two opposite target positions. The first line is to enable ISKCON switch to operate the motor. The following lines are for setting the desired target position. We declared variables for motor counter per turn, or CPT, as 1024, which is provided by the encoder datasheet, and a target as 0. In the if statement, we set the target value as CPT, and it will be changed in the opposite direction with an interval of 1 second. Because of a quadrature encoder interface, set target values as CPT means the motor will move to 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees from its initial position. Then, let's push the target values into the set desired position function. The below lines are to print out the elapsed time, target position, and encoder counter in every loop. This is to output encoder values from the motor to our screen as a demonstration. And now, let us look at how the system performs. We can see here that the motor runs as what we expected. The motor is well controlled to move to 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees repeatedly. Thank you for watching. For more information and tutorials, visit our website ismacat.com and our YouTube channel ismacat.